Hey everybody, welcome to Cycles, day 21. We are back into a heavy day. Came around quite quickly this time. I have two 20 kilogram kettlebells, a single 35 pound dumbbell, and a set of 25 pound dumbbells. And I'm gonna be putting those to use for our set today. Let's get a nice good warm up going so that we're prepared to get our bodies under heavy load. Today we are going to be working on a rep range. Uh, join me with some cat cow. So um, we are going to target anything from eight to 12 reps. So hopefully you can get to eight reps um, and maximum you should feel like you are at the top of your range at 12. So, you know, there will be a little bit of wiggle room for sure. I know that a lot of us have just kind of uh, minimal access to certain weights. You might not have anything super duper heavy and that's okay. Just keep pushing your reps. You can push your range higher, but that eight to 12 rep range is where we really get hypertrophy, which is muscle build, muscle size. So extend uh, from the crown of your head to your tailbone and we're gonna go into our bird dog. So reach your right arm and left leg away from one another and hold. Slide your shoulder blade in, hold the core nice and strong, level off the hips. We're gonna breathe here, just hold. And then plant your hand and knee, and we're gonna go to the other side. Engage through the core, tighten up. Lock in, feel the body. See if you can tell whether or not your pelvis is square to the ground. Plant into your thumb and first finger, feel flexion, feel force, and plant. Go back into your child's pose. Hips drive back, arms reach forward. Keep your face up off the ground for now and start rocking your hips left and right. Keep a nice big push into the hands and then just let those hips rock. All right, we're gonna sit up on our heels. If you can, turn your toes under so that you can stretch the bottoms of the feet. Tuck your chin in and then rotate your neck over to one side, your head, and then around to the other. Tuck in and rotate. Tuck in and rotate. Getting back to our neck and our feet is very important. I don't think it's something we do very often. Should probably do it a little more. There's always something more we could do, but. Okay, stay like this. Take your left arm down, bring your right arm up, reach. Let your hips drop out to the right as you reach your right arm up overhead. And then we're gonna go to the other side. Plant your right hand, let your hips drop out to the left. Plant your left, hips to the right. And again, reach to the left. Let's go one more per side. Keep your breath nice and deep. Feel what's going on. Perfect. Okay, go ahead and push into your downward facing dog. Bend both knees so that you can drive your chest back towards your thighs and then straighten. Tuck your ears inside your biceps. Slide your shoulder blades down. I always have to think about that. <laughs> as much as I say it, I still have to think about it. Grabbing the core. And then let's walk our hands back to the feet. Hang over those legs a second. Take a couple deep breaths. Round your back, so feel a little bit of a round. And then slowly roll your body up, nice and tall. All right, roll those shoulders around, back, and then forward, back, and forward. Take some arm swings, forward and back. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be hitting up our 8 to 12 rep range. We are going to start off with a farmer squat. So we're gonna use our kettlebells, or I'm gonna use my kettlebells and go into a farmer carry, holding each side, and then we're just gonna go into a nice deep squat, okay? From there, we are gonna go into an overhead tricep extension, and then we have a farmer deadlift, then a back fly, and then we're gonna hit a plank round before we start back at the top. All right, remember as always, if you're not ready to go quite all the way in yet, then, uh, start a little bit lighter. Otherwise, go ahead and join me. Make sure your stance is nice and strong and solid. Sit those hips back. You're engaging through the back to hold support 
for those belts? <sighs> Relax through the neck. Strengthen through that upper back. Five. Feel those muscles contract, get them to build. Make sure that the back stays nice and tall. It'll lean forward a little, but the goal is to get the hips to drop and keep the shoulders above the hips. And 12. All right, set those down. Let's take a little yogi squat. Something else to kind of think about depending on what your goals are. If you are trying to build muscle and hypertrophy is your reps in reserve. So how many reps do you have left that you could continue to push for? I definitely had some more there. Mental note to self, we've either got to get heavier kettlebells or do a few more reps. Okay, I'm going to grab my 35 up overhead for triceps. If you don't go overhead, you can also uh, lie on the ground and continue with skull crushers or kickbacks. I like a split stance for these. Bend those elbows and then straighten all the way to the top. Three generally heavy sets are much slower. Take time to feel what's going on. Find your core, keep it engaged. Try not to let your pelvis move forward or back. Oh, 10, that's 10 for me, okay. Take a child's pose with me and then we're gonna stretch those triceps. And then we're back into our farmer deadlift. Reach your hands down your back. Engage your, you're actually just pressed into the elbows. And that'll help stretch your triceps. All right, coming back up. We're gonna go into our deadlifts, farmer deadlifts. Again, engage through that upper back. Grab tight through the core. Find your stance. Grab the belly. This will be our first one. One. Reach your chest forward away from the hips. Lengthen those hamstrings. Then engage the glutes. Seven. Eight. Notice how the hinge here in our deadlift is different than our squat. Twelve. Perfect. Okay. Go back into that downward facing dog. Pedal the feet so that you can get stretch through your hamstrings. All right. I think I'm going to be feeling the back today just from holding these guys. <laughs> All right, come on up. And we are going to go into our back flies. I just have 25s for that one. I want to try to keep my elbows out and away. Suitcase rows, we keep narrow. Our flies, the elbows do come a little wide. So we'll see how it goes. Find that hinge. Engage through the back. Feel your upper back. Grab and pinch to pull those elbows up. Make sure the upper body is staying really still. So you're not bobbing against the weight. Eight, nine, flex into that upper back. And 12, awesome. 
All right. Quick thread the needle, and then we're going to go into our plank set. Nice job, everybody. Good first set. Heart rate should be up a little bit. Should feel a little tired. Ready, set, and go. So we're going to hold one minute here, and then 30 seconds per side. Really think about breath and connection to which muscles that you're wanting to grab. Find that traction. Pull those elbows back towards your toes. Build that trunk and torso. 15 seconds to go. Tighten through the quads. Build your isometric flexion abilities. Learning how to tighten deeper. Okay, turn to your first side into the muscles, any muscle, all muscle. Find your bicep, tricep here. Obviously, we want to feel that oblique. We want to feel front of the core. Wrap around the entire torso and trunk. Find your back, your thighs. Three, two, and one. Turn to the other side. Lift up. Find that lift. Find your extension. Open the chest. Lift up out of that shoulder. Tighten those thighs. Push up from underneath that armpit. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, little child's pose here. And then we're going to go back to our farmer squat. <clears throat> now you know why farmers are so fit. <laughs> At least the ones that don't sit on the tractor all day, I guess. Okay, here we go. <sighs> sit those hips back and down. Think about what is flexing. <sighs> Seven. Lots of core. And 12. Whew. Sit into that yogi squat. And then we'll go into our triceps. Awesome little low grade heart rate. I love it. Okay. Find your tricep weight. If you're going with that split stance, make sure you're switching which foot is forward each time. All right. First part, just getting it up there. Two, keep that body stable and still. Four, feel those triceps engage. That's where we want the work, in the triceps. It's not just about checking it off, right? Whew. Getting the work where you want it. All right. Now we have our farmer deadlifts. Back to those beautiful bells. Now we have our hinge 
Remember on your hinge, you want the bottom of your rib cage and the top of your hip bone to stay the same distance apart as you're hinging. Eight. Pop those hips right on top of the heels at the top. Twelve. Good job. All right, we have our flies. Back flies next. <sighs> Making sure we're ready to go. All right, find your hinge. Arms start in front of you. Elbows pull up high and wide. Focus that upper back. Feel those muscles build. Eleven. Twelve. I don't think I have any reps in reserve on that one. <sighs> okay, come on down. We're back into our plank. Three, two, and go. Good job. Good pacing. Check in with your breath here. Tighten up through the core. Scan through the body in space. Feel what's going on. See if you can even out your breath while also keeping that flexion into the abdomen. Tighten up the sides, the back, those glutes tuck under. Three, two, and turn. All right, coming up onto that side. Lift up nice and high out of that rib cage. Really work for height. Pushing the hips away from the floor, trying not to fold the upper body toward the ground or roll in. Trying to keep those hips stacked. Three, two, and turn. Other side, and then we'll be back. We'll hit one final set. Going good. Extend and lift up. Side planks are still difficult for you. Stay with it as much as you can. Slowly, slowly, you'll find you can put the work time into the core to support. Okay, a little child's pose. And then we're going to just thread one arm under. A little stretch to the outside of the shoulder. And then the other. Okay, as we start up... <laughs> Really think about where you're wanting to drive from, push from, build your intensity and force, your output. <sighs> Go for that big muscle. Here we go, squats. So from the top, get everything set, and then sit back. <sighs> 
10. Back to our yogi squat. And then we'll have those triceps. Okay. Big deep bend into those elbows. Four, engage that core, protect your low back. Get those triceps. See if I have any more. 11, 12. Oh. <sighs> Starting to grab the neck just a little. All right. Felt good though. Heavy feels good. Okay. Farmer deadlifts. Here we go. Hinge it forward. Pack that back. Six. Really check in. What are you feeling everywhere? Eleven. 12. I'm going to give those forearms a little stretch. We have our flies and then our planks, and we're done. No, there's not a lot in these days, but it should be pretty much all you got. And kind of start to learn too what your body likes. Does it like those slower, heavy loads or the fast, light, super high rep loads? All right, back, flies. Get those elbows out and away, then pinch them back in. Working on the back, not pulling with the neck. Seven, keep your back long. Ten, eleven, twelve. Whew. Good, good. All right, let's get everything out of the way so that once we're done with our plank, we can roll into our stretch. Okay. Find that forearm plank, line up, perfect railroad tracks, tuck in. I guess it's a good thing if I <laughs> Check the time. I'm ready to feel the feels. Hopefully you've gotten to the point you can really put the work into the core. It's not such stress on the shoulders, especially when we haven't really been utilizing too much of the shoulders for our work. Make those flexions and then just really tighten in. 
Ten seconds left. Two and one. Okay, rotate over and lift. Lift up nice and high out of those shoulders. Feel like you're having a pull, something pulling on that upper arm. Finding those hips to stack evenly. Three, two, and one. Rotate over. Second side. Last 30 seconds. Open and lift, stack and flex. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. Okay, start with your child's pose. Let's go nice, big, wide knees, and then your big toes are together. Find traction in the arms, so really plant and dig your finger pads into the ground. Rotate your triceps toward the ground. Feel the back flare across. Big spread. And then we're going to come up and get thread the needle. Inhale to bring your right arm up. Exhale, tuck. Slide under. Bring those hips back toward the right. And take your left hand and pull your right arm just a teeny bit more plant your left hand back help it use it to help you get up left arm rotate up 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 exhale slide under hips shift back to the left bring your right hand on top of the left and pull hips pull to the left All right, and then we're going to come forward, bring your right leg forward, grab the core, tuck the hips, slide in, and then take your left arm up, bend your elbow, stretch your tricep, keep tucking under in that back hip, stretch through the hip flexor in the quad. Important to keep that grab in the core so you don't compress your low back. Let's get our hamstring. Toes come up in the front. Reach your chest toward the toes. Take deep breaths. Appreciate that stretch here. Good old deadlifts. Should get into those hamstrings. Okay. Cross this foot over to the other side of the mat. Let's hit that pigeon. Stretch our glutes. Make sure that your front foot is uh, flexed, pulled back towards your knee. And then we really want to try to keep that pelvis squared off. So rotate the front of the hip toward the ground. Appreciate the sensations. Appreciate your hard work. All right, and then plant into your hands, and we're going to push ourselves up and switch to the other side. Bring your left leg forward. Oh, we want to stay a little bit more narrow. There we go. Tuck under, grab that core. Inhale, bring the right arm up. My brain's already jumping ahead. Don't go there yet. Anytime that you can stay in your moment, finish where you're at, try not to jump ahead, the better. Try not to be at the mercy of your 
thoughts, <laughs> schedule, and agenda. Because a half an hour ago, this was on your agenda. This was on the schedule. So appreciate that you're checking something off, that you're getting to something that when you do hit this and hopefully many other things throughout your day that you are achieving many healthy benefits, many qualities as opposed to just one. Flex the foot back. Walk that back, knee back. Again, find nice deep breaths. Rotate the front of the hip toward the ground. We want to keep the pelvis square. Learn where that pelvis is. Figure out when it's twisted, when it's tilted. My most difficult place to keep mine squared off is in my car. I sit there and hunker down and switch and twist and dip. Those car seats have been built for comfort, which is good. But... I like to try to keep an idea of core, posture, and awareness. <sighs> Put my rear view mirror just a little bit high so I have to sit tall. Okay, come up, bring over those legs. Grab your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Pull your hands as far as they'll go behind your head. <sighs> Bend your knees slightly. And roll it up. All right. Fantastic job. Another heavy day down. I will see you again tomorrow.